Welcome back to Tester Scale Workshop. My name is Brett Green. Tonight, we're going to return to our Hasegawa 32nd scale Messerschmitt BF 109G6. You might recall that our model's been built, painted, has a gloss coat, and has decals applied as well. But we still have some more work to do before the model is finished. Tonight, we'll be having a look at how we wash panel lines. The gaps and ridges and joins between panel lines on real aircraft can attract grime and dirt. They're often quite dark compared to the surrounding areas. You might remember that we have already applied some pre-shading along those panel lines, so we're just going to apply a very subtle highlighting on top of the paint uh, in this particular case. There are many different techniques that we can use to highlight panel lines. Because I use acrylic paints on my models, I like to use an oil-based wash. I've assembled a few items to help apply the oil wash to my BF-109. The first thing that we can see are a couple of tubes of oil paint. I have here raw umber and also lamp black. Uh, I've actually had these tubes of oil paint for the best part of 10 years. And as you can see, they barely look used. That's because we use very small quantities every time we apply a wash. The second important component uh, is thinners. I'm using uh, some odorless thinners. It's just a solvent for artists. Uh, the odorless thinners is, is great around the house uh, when the wife and kids are, uh, are nearby. And I've also got a small, just a shallow dish that I use to mix up the wash. You'll notice that the, uh, the components are sitting on top of a of a, of a paper pallet. This is a, another handy little tool with some greaseproof paper. I can mix up the paint on top of the paper and, uh, and it doesn't soak in. Well, let's see how we go about creating a wash. First of all, I put a smear. I really doesn't need anything more than that tiny smear of black oil paint and similarly a smear of raw umber oil paint here. Now I'll just pop some thinners into the shallow dish and the other component I didn't mention of course is a fine paintbrush. We'll wet that paintbrush just take a tiny quantity of, uh, of oil paint and we start, we start mixing it up here. Give you a better view around this way. Uh, so that um, we just get a very thin, very thin mix of, uh, of oil paint. It's a little bit too thick. And what we can start doing is, is adding this to the thinners that we have in the shallow dish. It gives a better view. And what we wind up is just a, a tinted, really, not much more than a tinted uh, thinner in the shallow dish, which is almost ready to apply to our model. Now, it's simply a matter of loading up the brush with a reasonable quantity of the, uh, the very thin wash and running it fairly precisely into each of the panel lines. And as I mentioned before, we're, we're not painting these panel lines. The, uh, the effect should be really no thicker than a tinted, tinted thinner. And if it's thin enough and it's working correctly, then it should just about run into panel lines and join lines without very much help from the modeler. So we'll just continue to do that on this wing. We'll turn it around and we'll repeat the process on the other wing, you see how the, uh, the paint is being drawn into the recessed line because paint is so thin. 
and we repeat that process along the join lines for the flats, maybe a little more heavily there, and we'll do the same on the ailerons. Once again, it's just running into there on its own accord. Uh, some smaller details like the the panel line along the rear of the aileron will take care of that as well. And what you'll find is that because we're using oil-based paints over the top of the acrylic paints, we can just basically wipe the excess off. And what I'll do when I've finished uh, the overall wash is I will uh, take a rag which is soaked in thinners and I'll run that rag across the entire surface of the model just to get rid of some of the mess that we've created uh, during that, that process of painting, of, uh, of weathering. This simple process is repeated for panel lines on the fuselage as well as smaller access hatches, uh, bumps and lumps. When you're doing this on the lower surfaces with the much paler RLM76 light blue, it's worth using an even thinner mix of wash to make sure you don't overdo the highlighting effect. Well, we're coming very close to finishing our model now. Only a couple of things are left to be done. We have to glue the small details in place, apply an overall flat coat, and then some of the fine touches include exhaust stains, and uh, the paint chipping on the wing walks and propeller blades. We're going to be having a look at all of those steps next time on Tester Scale Workshop. Until then, bye for now.